friends, and welcome to Collecting with Stan. And if I just blew somebody's eardrums out that's wearing a headphone or earbuds, I apologize. I'm in a good, good mood. Got me a package here, my FLC order from economicsincomics.com. Billy over there at Economics and Comics YouTube channel also. Figured I'd open it up. I'm going to use my Rough Rider Half Hawk that I showed in the video yesterday on Two for Tuesday. So let's get in this. That thing's sharp. Holy shnikes. Just kidding. It wasn't. Yep, it's sharp. That's what I get for dinking around. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, I gotta get a band-aid. Hang on a second. Mm. Mm. That's what I get. See, that's what you get when you play around with sharp knives. You don't. Mm. You don't restrict them. You get a boo boo. The reason I'm sucking on my finger is because it's bleeding pretty good. I don't want to get blood everywhere. Mm -hmm. Oh, that hurt. This thing just nicked me. I mean, it's not even a big cut, but... Oh, man, that sucks. Here, I thought I had my finger out of the way, too. I truly did. I didn't mean to cut myself. That was definitely not what I want to do, especially when I'm trying to mess with comic books. I mean, nobody wants blood all over the comic books. Well, there we go. That stands public service announcement today. Um, don't play around with sharp knives because they will bite you. I should have respected the blade. Just a tip got me. That is my own fault. But a good lesson for everybody here. So now let's get into the package now that I've fixed my boo-boo. <laughs> Again, always well wrapped by Billy. He does an amazing job on the shipping as far as I'm concerned. I can't think, and this is not, you know, this is not meant to like blow smoke up anybody's butt or anything, but I honestly cannot think of another comic book company or business online that I've done business with that packs their books as securely as he does. He goes out of his way to get Gemini mailers and stuff. Most of them just throw them in whatever and ship them. This time, I'm not dinking around, not putting fingy in way of blade. Yes, it hurt. It doesn't feel good. I'm not happy. Now I got this stupid itch I'm going to have to deal with all freaking day. Okay. Got a couple spacers here because it wasn't a completely full box. Put them over there. Get my paperwork here. Okay, yep. This is this week's, this week's drops. So I got another one of the Blood Hunt Diaries freebie. Thanks, Bill. I appreciate it. I got here. Okay, I think I got two of each of these. Nope, I got four of this one, I guess. I was drinking when I picked these up. I, oh, that's right. I thought this was a cool cover. It's the Ultimate Spider-Man 3. I just thought this was a cool cover, so I got four of them. You know, sometimes you just, you like something and you just buy them. You know what I'm saying? Hmm. I went nuts on this one. I wonder, was there a new character or something in Ultimate Spider-Man 3? Well, I got six of the main covers. Guess I like that cover too. I think I was drinking when I was doing this order. I'm looking at it going, why did I do that? But it's cool. I don't mind. It's a good storyline. It's been fun. This is a cool book. I think I only did two of these. Yeah, everything else is just two. This is the Edge of Spider-Verse number two. Spooky Man. It's kind of a cool cover. Okay, it's another one here. This is the... Looks, I believe this is the Andrews variant, Ultimate Spider-Verse, or Edge of Spider-Verse, number two. 
So that's kind of cool. Again, it's been another, in my opinion, good read, you know, but to each their own, you know, I mean, like I say all the time, not only in comic books, but also on knife collecting, you know, there's enough things out there that everybody can enjoy it, you know, and have fun with it. This is the La Roca variant of Cyborg Spider-Man. It's kind of cool. Of Edge of Spider-Verse number two again. Oh, this is cool. I like this cover. This is, I think, this, I believe, this, no, oh, this is Edge of Spider-Verse number, oh, well, this is number two. What's going on here? Okay, this is the uh, Pete Woods homage. Okay, I was misreading. I apologize. Sometimes, you know, I can't remember 100% what I bought, but pretty cool books. You know, it's, it, and let me rephrase that. Because I do these orders, you know, on FOC, which is like anywhere from four to six weeks prior, I don't fully remember what I order. I order what I want, what I like, what I can afford, and um, then I'm happy. Oh, yeah, this is coming out. This is this week's issue. This is X-Men 97, number one. I believe this is the main cover. You know what? I can check by the barcode. That is the main cover. I believe it did something right. <laughs> oh, let's see. This is the number four cover. X-Men 97, number one. I'm trying to get the glare just right. It's hard. But pretty cool book. Because I try to show y'all, you know, the books decently. And this is the number three cover. Uh, that one, that last one was the Dodderman variant, I believe. No, this is the Dodderman variant. The last one was the Baldion. Bel Beldion, that sounds right, I hope. I don't know. <laughs> but cool covers either way. Yeah, that's my haul. That's my uh, uh, FLC order haul from Bill. Um, again, uh, not trying to, you know, I, 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 one thing I will never do is I will never recommend a company that I don't personally use, whether it's in the knife reviews, uh, comic books, coins, whatever, because I would, I would never want to intentionally lead you guys down the wrong path. I mean, in the past, unfortunately, I have um, ordered from shops that <sighs> I think you all know what I'm talking about. If you've been with me for a long time in comics books, you understand. Uh, from shops that at the time I thought they was doing great and then they just went crappy. But so far, Bill's been doing this for it's online store now for I want to say two or two and a half years. Uh, you know, he still has some problems that happen. You know, like usually his problems are distributorship problems where like the books don't come. But what I like about Bill at economicsandcomics.com is um, sends out an email. It says, hey, X, Y, Z happened, a, whatever. You know, this is what happened. This is why you're, you know, just want to let you know. Sometimes if it's like one book, this is amazing here. If it's like one book holding up your order, sometimes it will ship the rest of your order. And then he'll end up having to eat the shipping on the other book. You know, uh, it doesn't happen real often because honestly, well, at least it hasn't for me, but honestly, I, I couldn't imagine your business model would go to hell if you did that all the time. Plus, I always tell Bill, you know, if there's anything holding up, don't worry about it for me. Just send them when, when everything's there. I, you know, I don't want him to have to eat something like that. He's a friend, you know, on top of it, you know. But yeah, that being said, I I, I cannot recommend economicsandcomics.com any higher than uh, I do. Um, so far, I have zero complaints. Uh, to my best of knowledge, I don't know of anybody that does have complaints. Um, I'm sure there's some out there. It happens, you know, but overall, you know, I would say he's got to be in the 99 percentile of happy customers, you know. So, hey, with that being said, I'm going to shut my pie hole down on here nine minutes. Thanks for joining me today for this wonderful unboxing of awesome comic books. Can't wait to read them. Um, hope you're having a great day. Remember, like, subscribe, share, and comment. I love you guys' comments. Let me know what books you're getting. Let me know what you let me know what you think of my big dumb self cutting myself. <laughs> if I get a lot of views on this because of that, I'm gonna start cutting myself every video. I'm joking. I would not do that. It hurts too much. <laughs> okay, with that being said, live long, prosper, and collect your own way.